Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna do the pre-designed build for one of my clients that we're gonna be building out over the next few months. This is gonna be a two-part series. So we'll do the pre-build and then we'll do the installation. The installation is gonna include all the cabling, the Wi-Fi access points, the protect cameras, as well as the unified door access. The installation video is gonna be rather long as I'm gonna put it into one part instead of putting them into little chunks. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, door access, CCTV, or structured cabling, you could visit my website, at MacTelecomNetworks.com. We do have a Discord server and affiliate links down in the description below. Now on screen, this is the floor plan for my client's new business. And if you haven't seen this program that I'm using, this is Unified Design Center. So we're gonna be able to put in our walls, be able to put in access points, cameras and door access, and see some of the coverage that we should be getting. Unified Design Center just recently changed their layout. So now on the left-hand side, we have the main floor, which is our floor plan. We also have a settings wheel and then the draw walls. Beside that, we have draw cables and then we have place devices. We look at our topology and then we have port view, we have equipment list, and then we have projects or different projects that we've been working on. The first thing we need to do with Unified Design Center every time that we start is to set a ceiling height as well as a floor plan scale. So I'm gonna click on the floor plan scale. Now all we're gonna do is place a line on the floor plan and say how long it is. I know from this red line to this red line that it's four feet. So I'm gonna put in four feet. Now we need to set our ceiling height. So I'm gonna click on that. And for these ceilings, they're gonna be 12 feet. So I'll press 12 and then save. In Unified Design Center, we need to draw in our walls. So that's the next thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna click on the drop down arrow on draw walls, and I'm gonna select a wall and not a room. We're gonna do concrete because this is the exterior of the building. Now you can see right here that there's these little blue lines and that is where our windows are going. So we're not gonna draw over that. All we need to do is left click and then move the line across. We'll stop where the window is and then we'll just keep going. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit and then we'll do the windows next and interior walls. Now that we have the concrete walls done, we need to add the glass. That's what we're gonna do. Glass and then put it in between. The last thing we need to draw in is our drywall. I'm gonna add that in and then skip ahead. Now that we have the interior walls done, we need to start adding devices as well as data cables. One thing I hope that Ubiquiti changes is the thickness of these lines as they're very, very big. They used to be a little bit smaller in the last build of Unified Design Center. Just so I could see most of the drawings, I'm gonna click on settings and we're gonna turn off the walls so that we could see more of the office space. Now what we'll do, we'll add in our data cables. So I'm gonna go into place devices. Under devices, all I'm gonna to go to is accessories. We could see right down below that we have the unified wall socket, which is two RJ45s. The next one up is four, and then we have eight. So let's start with the two. Now I'm just gonna place the two wall outlet in every office that needs them. This top right office is gonna have four data drops. So we're gonna choose the four ports and we're just gonna place it somewhere in the middle. In this cubicle area, there's going to be eight different workstations, so we're going to place eight cables there. You can see that the device icons are pretty big. You can change that if you'd like. The next thing we need to add in is a network rack, and it's going to be going in this back left corner. Now that we have the network drops in and our network rack, we need to place our Wi-Fi devices. So I'm going to go down to Wi-Fi, and for this install, we're going to be using the U6 Pros. For the U6 Pro, I'm going to have one in the break room, we're going to have one up by reception, and then I'm going to have one in this flex room. What we're trying to achieve here is even in the worst spots of the building that we still have at least minus 65 dB, and we will test that with my Net Ally AirCheck G3 when we're done the job. Now, if we click on this right hand drop down, we could check out the Wi-Fi coverage, and you could pretty well tell that it's getting minus 46 dBm or better as it's showing this green. If we just go on to the hover mode and click on one of our APs, that's going to show us what it's going to produce so we'll go into the middle one which pretty well covers the whole building and then we hit into the break room next up we're going to have to place some unify protect cameras so we'll go over to the cameras and then we'll click camera security we are going to be using the g5 bullet cameras so on the top right corner we're going to have one up top and then we're going to place it going this way towards a back parking lot at the side of the building we have an entrance door or an exit door so we're going to also want a camera there to cover that area and we're also going to have one more at the corner for the front door 
On the inside of the building, the customer wants to have the fisheye lens AI360. So we're going to have one of those at reception, and then we're going to have one over these cubicles. Now we could also see our camera coverage. We'll click the drop down menu and then go camera coverage, and you could see pretty well what we're going to be getting. The last thing that we need to place on this floor plan is our G2 professional white readers. We're going to be putting one at the front door and then one on the emergency exit. We're also going to be placing one of the G2 light readers in this other door. Now with Unify Access, we're going to have to use three Unify Access door hubs. Each door hub can only handle one door. They are supposed to be coming out with the hub that could handle eight openings. Now for network switches, I'm going to click on the network rack and go to settings. Here we're going to expand the core unified technology and we're going to go to the additional switching capacity. For this project, we're going to be adding in the professional 24 PoE. The reason why we're going with the pro, it has a bigger PoE wattage budget and it also has PoE++, which we need for the unified door access. Now for all their devices that don't require PoE, we're going to be doing the Professional 24. For our firewall, we're going to be either using the UDM Pro or the UDM SE and then a bunch of different patch panels within. We'll probably end up using the unified patch panels as they do match the color. Now I'm going to show you a quick video of the site that I took with my phone just to give you an idea of what we'll be working with. All right, everyone, and this is the building that we're going to be doing the job at. There's about 40 Cat6 cables and we're going to be putting some access control. There's going to be some uh, Unify access going on this door and we're going to be putting a push paddle. Same with this door. Um, it will be the new G2 reader light. So we got to get a Cat6 out here. We need to get an 18.2 in here for the electric strike. Going into the building, uh, this section is going to be all open. Uh, there's going to be no drop ceiling. This is where a reception desk is going to be and there will be an AI360 poking down. Um, there will also be a couple access points. I think we're doing three access points. These are all different offices. We don't know where the desks are going currently, uh, so we're not gonna cable it until I get back from my trip. But really it doesn't matter because these are all open frame, we could fish it down. Now in each one of these offices, we're gonna be putting two data drops and there's a few of them that are gonna be taking four. In the floor for the reception, they're gonna be coring down, putting in a box and that's where we're gonna put our data cables. Um, this is just the bathroom area. If we walk around here, this is gonna be an open concept uh, floor space which they're gonna have, I think, eight desks around this area, which will also be cord and conduit. So there'll be a conduit going through the floor and then back up into the ceiling and then run our cables this way. We'll be using Cat6 black cable because they will be painting the ceiling in the open spacings all black. And now I will show you the network room. Right here's the location we've been given. You can see this old North Star phone system. That will be ripped off. This Bix field will be coming out as well as this patch panel. Uh, we'll probably use the pre-existing backboard or we'll put on our own fire rated backboard. So that's really gonna be it until we start the actual installation. On this back door, we're also gonna be having Unify access. We have the cable in for our electric strike, which is an 18.2. And then we have the data cable for our G2 uh, Reader Pro that has the camera on it. Now that you've seen what the job site looks like, let's take a look at some of the hardware that we're gonna be using for the access control. So on those doors currently, we need to switch out all of the locks. So we'll be using this dead latch and this is by Adam Bright. I'm not too sure if I'll be cutting it in or if I'll get a locksmith, but regardless, I'm gonna film the whole thing if the locksmith allows me or we will just cut it in ourselves. The next thing we need to add with this is the paddle so that people could exit. So this is all pretty standard stuff. Another thing that we're gonna be adding is a request to exit motion. So this will be a T-Rex, that's what they call it for the Cantec T-Rex. I really do like the style of these, that's why we're going with it. For the employees going in and out, we're gonna be buying one pack of the pocket key fobs and they'll also be able to do it with their phones. They'll be able to get in and out and unlock the doors as Ubiquiti is now coming out with that free version of identity so that we could open the doors with their mobile phones. And on every one of their doors, we're gonna be using the Access Lock Electric and this is by Ubiquiti. I really like the packaging that it comes with and it comes with a whole bunch of different mounts for different doors. And that's gonna be it for this video. The next time you see a video on this site will be early. January. We're going to do it from start to finish. So all of the cabling, all of the Wi-Fi protect and the access control. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right. Thanks.